Good morning from an overcast, yet yeah, it's threatening to break out in sunny pool. My name's Sam Davis, welcome to this back of the net match day vlog. Look, I'm a hot, sweaty mess. I've just done the pool park run, just cantered round. I need to get fit to be honest, but tell you what, what a gorgeous way to start the day. Absolutely loved it. And look, it's match day, what, what a glorious day to be watching football it's going to be beautiful later and in, in, in amongst Bournemouth the pool there's loads to do as well massive festival going on at Paul Park and also there's beach football on Bournemouth Beach but we're going to be at Decor where we're hoping to serve up a festival of football ourselves yeah it's Bournemouth the Arsenal let's get into it come on you Reds <laughs> Brunswick. Hello. Hello Tom, how are you mate? Yeah, I'm good mate. Quietly confident actually. Are you? Yeah, I don't know why. It's not a good thing is it, let's be honest. <laughs> Prediction time, Adam Hensman, new kit. Happy birthday to you this week, mate. Two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. All right. And the socks as well. Um, is it going to be beautiful for Bournemouth today? Yeah. Right, what's the score going to be? 3 2. What? 3 2. To Bournemouth? Yeah. 4.30, team news is in. Talk me through it, Tom. What's going on? I think on the preview I got 10 out of 11. So I'll take. Uh, but yeah, Travis and goal. Back three. Looks like it's going to be Metham on the right, Kelly on the left, and Marcus and Naze in the middle. And then we've got Pearson. I went for Lewis Cook, but it's Pearson and Lerma sat in front. Then you've got Tavernier, Billing. And then the wing backs, obviously Smith and Zamora, and then you've got Keeper Moore up top. So, yeah, we have a Slanky, but we did say if Slanky won't fair, it'd be more. So, yeah, kind of what we expected, but Billing and Tavernier kind of playing off Keeper Moore. Um, and yeah, but Celeste in. Lerma back in the midfield, mate. So, Lerma and Pearson, so that's a real double pivot there. So. All right, I'm going to give you a few seconds oh to find the Arsenal team before. I check, I'm going to chat some others and see what they say. Ben Hensman, are you as optimistic as your brother? Uh, uh, well, it would be nice to get a win like that, but I just don't think it's our day today. It's a tough game, I say 2-1 to Arsenal. Are we going to win today? No, we're going to draw. Oh, we're going to draw? Mm. Okay. We're going for a 1-1 a one -one today. No Solanke though? No, but I think... The directness of Moore is going to cause some problems at the back. I think he might get a little knocked down and we have someone's ghosting in. Get us a, put us 1-0 up. I think we'll then try and sit back in our formation and defend. But I think Arsenal just have a little bit too much. And he's got the Arsenal team up. Go on then, Tom. Well, you, who's there? Well, if you watch the uh, preview, you'd have got 10 out of 11 on Bournemouth and 11 out of 11 on Arsenal. So I'm going to take that. Uh, yeah, it's unchanged again for the third game in a row, I think, for Arsenal. So Ramsden in goal, back four of White, Saliba, Gabriel and Zinchenko, Xhaka and Partey in front, Odegaard more advanced with Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left, Jesus up front. So yeah, they, they've unchanged again. Um, yeah, so what I expected from them, but I'll tell you what, 2-1. So we've got Reese here outside the away end. Mate, what do you think of our massive stadium? It's huge, isn't it? It's my second time here. You know, it's, it's tidy. You know, it's, uh, it's not very big, you know. But, you know, little clubs love coming down here. Small ground, neck near the pitch, free atmosphere. So hopefully, three points, but a great atmosphere. As the tide turns, there's a positive feel around the club at the moment. Um, you know, Jesus has come in, Zinchenko has come in. Obviously, last season ended um, not very pleasantly for us. Um, but I definitely feel like the fans are now back in Arteta, the project is clear. I was someone who at one point thought Arteta's got to go, but I must say, you know, I made a mistake. I, I, I do back him. Um, I think the club are backing him as well with the money. 
hopefully I'd like to see two more transfers come in, but definitely a sense of positivity um, around the club this season, and I definitely think top four for us is, is the minimum. Outside Dean Court, a familiar face from the last vlog, and also an equally difficult team, Arsenal, mate. How are you feeling about today? Are we going to get anything from this one? Uh, probably stupidly optimistic. I'm feeling a draw here. I really? think we can frustrate them. I think more of Villa, make it a hostile atmosphere as part of me talking about. Uh, looks like we're packing the midfield today with Billing in there as opposed to Christie playing. So, you know, might frustrate him, might come away with a 0 0 1 1, you never know. Cherry's fan, Phil's here. I'm here, yeah, I'm here. He's always here yeah, at Deep yeah, How are you feeling about today, mate? Um, I'm just going to enjoy today. I'm going to enjoy the next couple of matches. That's the spirit. And then when we get to the uh, Wolves and Brighton and the, those sort of games, they're the games I'm really looking forward to. If we can get anything today, I'd be absolutely delighted. Rich Neil. Hello, how are we doing? First time I've seen you this season. I know, I had a house move to contend with, so we're all good now. Uh, <laughs> a Bournemouth going to be moving Arsenal today. I was trying to get a pun in there. Will we get three points? I'm going to have to stay positive. I'm going to go 2-1 today to stay positive. Like that from you. Also, summary Heather. You Hello, right? I'm good, thank you. All right, summary. <laughs> um, are you feeling? Are you feeling summary about the game? Are you get some? I, I feel positive. I think we're gonna win by one goal. I don't know how much the score will be, but <laughs> someone behind us isn't feeling positive, as you no. can hear. So you're you're predicting a win, right? Yeah. Happy days. <laughs> We've got a gunner here, Peter. Hello, how are you? You yeah, alright? Well, thank you. Um, you've had a good start of the season, haven't you, so far? Yeah, it's gone better than I expected and uh, the new signings have made a difference. So a bit more optimistic that we can do better than last season. Jesus has been class for you, hasn't he? I mean, just last week, yeah. class above. Yeah, his finishing is phenomenal, but I like, as, as Jevchenko as well, he's made a difference on the left-hand side. Um, so yeah, a lot of attacking options. I'm hoping that um, we can um, be aggressive today, not sit back too much and hopefully get couple of goal lead would be you, ideal. If you turned a corner, Arsenal, like because previously there would always be these lapses yeah. throughout the season, but it, I don't I, know. I'm still a little a bit, bit of a sceptic, Sam, but I'm hoping because I've, I've seen a lot of bad times as well as good times. Uh, I think they're bringing in some good players, the investment's improving, impl the recruitment's improving in players. Um, Arteta I'm still a little bit unsure about because of his treatment of Smith Rowe, but I'm hoping he's my favourite player. I'm hoping we can we can get uh, on a good run. All right, I'll yeah. finish with a prediction then. What are you going to go for, Peter? I'm going to go for 3 1 Arsenal. That's painful. That's pa okay. This is where the interview ends. <laughs> Thank Thank you. You. Thanks very much. Cheers. See now we know it's going to be a oh. Is there going to be a check or is that it? The shot came in. Travis saved it, but it was just stroked in close range. And it restarts. Odegaard with the goal. 1-0 Arsenal. This could be a very, very long afternoon.
to Arsenal then, an Odegaard double. It's not been not been easy to watch, has it? No, it's too easy. Um, just speaking to Tom, we were saying that if, if, if you're going to sit back and you're going to defend, you've got to be good at it, you've got to be solid. If not, you've got to go for it. We've had chances to get the ball in the box to keep him on. I mean, just come backwards. If we've got to keep him on in the middle, what's the point? So, yeah, it's just too easy. How are we going to get any foothold in this game? Is it possible? What do we do? I think we need to go back to what we did last year, go back to 4-3-3. Three, three. There's five at the back. We ain't, Samora and Smith aren't getting forward enough, so... 4-3-3, three, three, see what happens, get Billing off. Billing, Billing needs to work hard today and he's not doing it, so um, yeah, just I think Lewis Cook needs to come on. Tom, Andy, let's start with you Tom. Yeah, I mean, fun. that's hard, isn't it? That's hard to watch. It is. I was just saying then, like, if we're gonna if we're gonna try and play that way, then we've got to be bloody good defensively. If we're not, we might as well have a go. We might as well just have a go and get picked off. Because we're trying to defend and we're two them down. And there's no outlet, we're kicking the ball to keep them all, he's got no one around him, so yeah, it's hard watch, we're making them look very good. I think they are good, but we're making them look better than they are as a trading match, isn't it? But, uh, who's, uh, Andy, who's impressed you for Arsenal today? I mean, they've got a wealth of players, haven't they? Yeah, I, th- I really like Zinchenko, I think he's excellent, he seems to be involved in absolutely everything. Um, Odegaard's been good as well, um, I think he's... I think it's a huge player for them. Um, Talk to me about your FPL, Tom, about Odegaard. I took him out. <laughs> you took him out? And he's only got to score two. Yep. <sighs> so how's it, how's it going to pan out then, mate? Are we going to be able to keep him at two or what? The way, the way it went, I, I think I can see five or six, honestly. I don't think Arsenal got going. I hope not. Um, but we've got to improve in the second half, otherwise it's, it's curtains. It really is. Tom? I think it was day two. I think they'll just keep the ball. I don't think like, we're going to have a chance, but they're going to do nothing. So I think it was there too. But um, yeah, it's, been, it's been trash. It's been absolute rubbish. But we got bigger fish to fry. If this happens against Wolves, then we'll have complaints. But and at least you've got each other, eh? Look at this. I love this embrace. Romance. Tom's just uh, just before we're going up. There's a double change, mate. What's going on? Uh, Jane Anthony and Lewis Cook on, Michael Celesi and Ben Pearson off. So. You know what? Please for Jane Anthony, Premier League debut, brilliant, and Celesi and Pearson. Is that a change of shape, mate? Yeah, it'll be a, that'll be about four now. Yeah. So um, Lewis will obviously come off Pearson in that middle of the park, but Jane Anthony will go wide, and uh, Tavernier will probably go more wide, so it'll probably be a 4 2 3 1. Come bidding just off Keith Moore. Anthony and um, Tavernier either side, so let's give this a go, eh? Yeah, this could be a not? good 45 minutes, but Arsenal, they are class apart, aren't they, mate? At the moment, yeah. We, we go get the next goal, scan one, and then you never know. Have the chance. Oh my god, what a goal! What a beautiful goal that was! That was unbelievable. Just as we seem to be getting a foothold, that happens. <laughs> I mean, that different class, that's a different class. Oh, this is another hard, hard Saturday. I mean, players are bowing to each other on the pitch. Good acquisition over the summer, some good players, and they, they're working really well as a team. Yeah. They're giving them a lot of space, so aren't we? we? We didn't expect anything out of this anyway, did we? Oh, we were hoping, we were hoping. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping. <laughs> We've oh, got a dream. You have to dream. 4 0. Seen that scoreline before? You never know. It might not be as bad. Give us a go. Rambo, Rambo, give us a go. It's offside. All day, lad. 
Chill. He's going to be the draft excluder for this one. Full time then, zero three. Let's go see what the fans say, eh? Julian from AFTV, that's a famous face that you've seen before. How are you, mate? 3 0. I mean, I'm just seeing Man Against Boys. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Apart from that big guy up front, Kiefer Moore, yeah. Kiefer Moore, he reminded me of the sort of person that stands in front of me out of away games. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hearing what I'm, I'm hearing. Look, I mean, this is. I mean, look, you know, everyone who watches AFTV sees us every week. But I tell you what, you've got characters this season as well on the pitch. Yes, it feels different as a neutral. It feels different. It feels really different to obviously, you know, we've all seen the documentary and stuff, but on the pitch as well, you seem like a different beast. You seem like a different animal, and I'm not saying first or second or whatever, I think that's probably out of reach, but wouldn't top be, four. Wouldn't be so, wouldn't be so sure. Wouldn't be so sure. But top four? Top four, I, top four, I would be surprised if we didn't get. Mm. Um, but the way that they're playing, the way they've started, I know you can't judge it on the first three games, and to, I don't want to say anything bad about Bournemouth. But? Um, no, I'm not going to say anything bad about Bournemouth. What I'm going to do is is string the positives of the quality of the opposition we played last yeah, season. Okay. I don't think there's been a dramatic change. What's happened, the players that have come in have really kind of been the catalyst. It's yeah. almost like the final final piece of the jigsaw rather than there's been this dramatic change. A familiar face. Ah. Will, he, will he sing? <laughs> will he not? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Kalechi. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, my brother, thank you for having me on your channel. Um, How are you? you know, I'm, I'm alright. I'm feeling so happy. Um, you know, um, obviously, unfortunate for you guys, um, you know, you lost. Um, but again, the second half, you guys gave it a good fight. Um, if you had played like that in the first half, you know, who knows? Well, I think we would have still won. But you yeah, gave it a good fight. But I think you guys are really missing uh, Dominic Solanke. Yeah. Um, he needs to come back and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, give something in attack. Um, I think, was it Jefferson Lerma that said? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he, he had an okay game as well. And I think, was it, who came on in the second half? Lewis was Cook. Louis, Louis Cook. Yeah, I was yeah. going to call him Thomas Cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Louis Cook <laughs> yeah. came on. I think he helped stabilise the game a little bit. So, I mean, there are positives from the game for you guys. Um, things you can learn from. Um, but I'm sure you guys will be all right. Uh, oh. Hopefully you can make a few more signings before the deadline. Yeah, Even if it's to get some people on loan, you know, you can get some Arsenal boys on loan. We have them. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, so, and then, uh, yeah, you can push up the table. Are things different? Do things feel different this season? Because as an outsider, it feels like they might be different for Arsenal. As I said, it's not something that's changed dramatically overnight. It's been evolving. For me, it's been evolving since he got there. He had a massive job. Because what had been happening before he got there was it was in decay. It was in decay probably for the last. Now I, I say decay from the Invincibles downwards, yeah. but that was because we found perfection. Yeah. And when you find perfection, there is only one way to go. But the relationship with Wenger, and I've said this before, was rather similar to the one with my ex-wife. In the, <laughs> the beginning of the relationship, the first half of the relationship was absolutely superb. Yeah tremendous yeah. love yeah. but then it got gradually and I do it you know, I'll, I'll reinforce the word gradually it went gradually downhill yeah and in the end it became an absolute living nightmare yeah yeah I mean um, we've made quality signings we've um, brought in you know title winners from Man City two of them they know how to win games um, you can see what they did today and um, you know, uh, Saliba back on loan, playing well. I think that was a strength. hell of a goal, wasn't yeah, it? That was a hell of a goal, man. Oh that was a God. hell of a goal. So, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Um, and the team seems united, or looks united. Um, the fans are chanting and, you know, supporting the team. So, who knows where we can end up. I know that we're definitely going to push for top four. Uh, if we get above that, 
Dodge the gun first. Ah, my brother, I'll take I'll go. I'll take go. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Give me a number. Whereabouts are you finishing at the table? Oh dear me, no, 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 no. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah, fourth. Who's third then? Ah oh, dear, wait, wait, wait. So it's Man City, Liverpool, and Arsenal. So third. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank much. you so much. <laughs> Well done on the three points. Thank you. I'm sure you're going to be up there and uh, yeah, and yeah. I'm best of luck for the season. I'm sure you're going to be down there, which is a show. Thanks, man. <laughs> I feel better after chatting to you. Okay. Up the cherry. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. There we go then. A number of different fans' opinions there in the free for all, but also some AFTV royalty there as well also Tom appeared on their channel so do check that out I tell you what I wouldn't say it was a game of two halves it was a game where we were not so good in the first half but we gave them something to think about in the second but ultimately it wasn't enough they were a bit like Man City last week really I thought that's a you know that's the biggest compliment I could play to uh, could actually pay to them I thought they were really really solid and you know we barely laid a finger on them but Look, these aren't the games that we're going to gauge our season on, are they? Uh-uh-uh. Next week, we've got Liverpool, OK? And then, look, we've got Norwich and the Carabao gain some momentum ahead of Wolverhampton Wanderers at home, which is our next game at Vitality, which is huge for us. Can we get some points? Look, appreciate you viewing this. If you're an Arsenal fan and you want to see our travels our trials our tribulations throughout the season make sure you subscribe also give this a like we truly appreciate it till the next one up the cherries <laughs>